Let us take a quick quiz to test our understanding so far. Z Limited issued 15,000 12% debentures of 100 each at a premium of 10%, which are redeemable after 10 years at a premium of 20%. The amount of loss on redemption of debentures to be written off every year is A. 2,40,000 B. 1,20,000 C. 30,000 and D. 24,000 The amount of loss on redemption of debentures to be written off every year. So what is our loss on redemption? 12% debentures are being issued at a premium of 10%. This is not a loss. This is a premium. This is a securities premium. This is a profit. These are redeemable after 10 years at a premium of 20%. 20% is on the face value. Therefore, 20% of 15 lakhs is equal to 30 lakhs, 3 lakhs, I'm sorry, 20% of 15 lakhs, 3 lakhs is the total amount of loss. What is the amount to be written off every year? 3 lakhs divided by the life of the debenture, that is 10 years, will give us 30,000 is to be written off every year. Therefore, the correct answer should be C, 30,000. Please note, there were two things. One is the debentures were issued at a premium. This premium on issue is a profit. There is no loss here. These are redeemable after 10 years at a premium of 20%. Redeeming at a premium, there is a loss, capital loss. And what is the loss? It's 20% of 15 lakhs giving us 3 lakhs. But the question is the amount of loss on redemption to be written off every year. Therefore, 3 lakhs spread over 10 years would give us 30,000. The correct answer should be C, 30,000. Next, when debentures are issued as collateral security against any loan, then holder of such debenture is entitled to interest only on the amount of loan, b. interest only on the face value of debenture, c. interest both on the above, and d. none of these. Debentures are issued as collateral security against any loan. This is only collateral security. And the holder of such debenture is entitled only to the interest on the amount of loan. There is no interest on the face value of the debenture because that is only held as security. It is not exercisable. It is not active. So the answer should be A. Interest only on the amount of loan. Next. Which of the following is true with respect to debentures? A. They can be issued for cash. B. They can be issued for consideration other than cash. C. They cannot be issued as collateral security. And D. Both A and B. Which of the following is true? Can they be issued for cash? Yes. Debentures can be issued for cash. Can they be issued for consideration other than cash? Yes. They cannot be issued as collateral security. Of course they can. So this is wrong. Therefore, our answer should be D. Both A and B. Both A and B. Next, P Limited purchased land and building from Q Limited for a value of 2 lakhs. The consideration was paid by issue of 12% debentures of 100 each at a discount of 20%. The debenture account will be credited with A. 2 lakh, B. 2 lakh 50,000, C. 2 lakh 40,000, and D. 1 lakh 60,000. How many debentures? Debenture account will be credited with. How many debentures would be issued? Purchase consideration by issue price. Purchase consideration is 2 lakh divided by what is the issue price? 100 each at a discount of 20%. Therefore, divided by 80, we get 
2,500 debentures of 100 each, 2,50,000 should be the amount credited to the debentures account. 2,50,000. Answer B, 2,50,000. Next, premium on redemption of debentures appearing in the balance sheet is A, a real account, B, a nominal account income, C, a nominal account expenditure, D, a personal account. Premium on redemption of debentures account is a personal account. It is a liability account. Therefore, the correct answer should be D, a personal account. 25,000 12% debentures of 100 each are issued as collateral security. To record this transaction, which of the following entries would be passed? First one says debit cash, credit debentures. B says debit debenture suspends credit debentures. C says debit debenture suspends and credit cash account. And D says debit debenture account and credit cash account. Huh? Oh yeah, so this is what I said. Debit debenture account and credit debenture suspends. Okay. So I have to do the second, right? D. Debit debenture account and credit cash account. It's issued as collateral security. The entry is normally to credit debenture and debit debenture suspense account. Alternatively, we need not pass any entry. So the entry should be debenture suspense account debit to debenture. Debit debenture suspense and credit debentures account is the correct answer. Option B should be the correct answer. Next, when debentures are issued at a discount and are redeemable at a premium, which of the following account is debited at the time of issue of debentures? A. Debenture account. B. Premium on redemption of debenture account. C. Discount on issue of debentures account and D. Capital reserve account. When debentures are issued at a discount, it's a loss. Redeemable at a premium is also a loss. So which of the accounts should be debited at the time of issue of debentures? Debenture account is wrong. Debenture account will be credited. Premium on redemption of debentures account will also be credited because this is a liability account. Discount on issue of debentures is correct. Capital reserve, of course, does not come into the picture. The entry in this case is actually bank account debit with the amount received. Loss or discount on issue of debentures account debit with both the loss on account of discount as well as the loss on account of redemption at a premium. Two, debentures with the face value of the debentures to premium on redemption of debentures, which is the liability. So the correct answer is C, discount on issue of debentures.